it coming back to you guys to provide you guys with some new tips. So check this one out. So this is gonna be for all of you newbies just starting off into the gym. If you haven't really checked out my other videos, they're basically all about bodybuilding, gaining more muscle, and just kind of utilizing workouts to get a little bit more mass on yourself. Okay, whether you're a guy or whether you're a girl, they work for everyone. I'm a certified personal trainer. I got my certificate through NASM, the National Academy of Sports Medicine, and there are five stages in what's called an OPT model, Optimal Performance Training Model. There are five stages. The first one is gonna be stabilization endurance. What that means is you need to be getting your body accustomed to the workouts that you are doing. You've never lifted before. Your body needs to adapt to the stimuluses. Example A, lifting weights. So with all of this, you need to ask yourself, what is your main goal before starting any type of workout program? And then after you figure that out, you can start with the other variables. There are four different variables that are important to this particular phase. All right, so part number one is gonna be proprioception. That's getting your body used to balance. So when you're lifting weights, it feels a little weird at first because your body's not used to it. You gotta get your body in tune proprioceptively. Number two, so timed holds. Picture holding a weight out like this, okay? Holding a weight out like that. Your body's gonna get tired, but more specifically, you're gonna start feeling tired in a certain area. I was holding out a weight like this, my shoulder muscle here would start burning a little bit. But you would really feel where that burning sensation is coming from. So what you're doing there is getting a, a better feel for muscle mind connection you're getting a better feel for where that muscle is and you know how to contract that muscle fully and properly so the third variable is going to be your training frequency training frequency has to do with how many times you're going to be in the gym a week okay whether it's one time two three four five seven times a week figure out your training frequency all right and the fourth variable is going to be your training duration so depending on your goal it is important that you figure this out so you know exactly how long you need to train for. So if you are doing bodybuilding competitions, you may be in the gym a little bit longer because you're having to work out um, a certain muscle group a little bit more. Anyway guys, with all of that in mind, figure out one, what is your goal? Why are you starting a workout program? When I first started, I wanted to lose I wanted to lose weight. My main goal was to lose body fat. Now I've kind of slimmed down, so I want to gain a little bit more muscle. So for me, the OPT model phase that I want to be focusing on is hypertrophy because I want a little bit more lean muscle. So depending on what your goal is, we can start figuring out exactly what you need to be doing so you can get to that goal ASAP. You, you get there slowly if you want, but depending on what your goal is, like always, we'll figure it out. All right, guys. So that's going to be the first phase of the OPT model in depth. I'm gonna go into each of these phases and why they're important. And I'm just gonna tell you guys what the most important thing about that phase is. Believe me, it's not rocket science. I'm going from complexity to simplicity, right? Because no one wants to start anything when they don't understand it. Thank you for tuning in. This is BMV Fit. I'm helping you build better body, mind, vitality. I'm really enjoying making these videos for you guys. Tune in for next time going into phase two, baby. Catch you guys on the other side.